So hip internal rotation squats. Foam roller is what you need. Put this between your legs. Depending on where it feels the most comfortable, you can place it either really higher up against your crotch or closer to your knees. I like it somewhere between, so that's where I'm gonna place mine. Now I like to have some sort of reference for myself. So I like to have my feet walk up to a line like so, so, so I can make sure my feet are straight. I don't want this. I wanna be in line. And I also don't want pigeon toed. So between pigeon toed and turned out is where you want it. So step one, if you watch my femurs, thigh bones, they externally rotate, okay? When the external rotation is created, now I'm also gonna crush the roller from both sides. So it's external rotation and a crush. You can see how the roller comes forward. That's important to understand. The moment you establish this, your feet are pushing into the floor. So both feet are driving into the ground at the moment. And when I initiate the pattern, my chest is up, my back is straight, I'm pulling myself down with my hamstrings. And again, my chest is super high, and I have to make sure that my butt is pulling down between my heels, and I'm squeezing this roller the entire time. I like my hands to be up in front of me. And I'm squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. And at this point, my ankles are being loaded, so I should feel like an ankle restriction stretch. I'm checking to make sure both sides are squeezing hard enough. I'm gonna see if I can go lower and lower into the pattern and squeeze. I'm holding for time. However much time coach puts on the description below is what I'm holding for. And I'm just continually checking which side is not squeezing enough. I'm gonna squeeze more and more if I don't feel that side squeezing. After the time is done, I come back up, rest, and then you'll see a rep count in the description below. Now you do reps. So after the hold is over, same thing. Hands up, rotate, squeeze, pulling straight down. The knees will go over your feet and then you see how low you can get to that same spot you were holding. Make sure you squeeze hard, and squeeze really hard on the way up. And repeat the pattern over and over for the reps that coach gives you. If you feel like you're brave enough, you can add a dumbbell. If not, just work body weight, which is more than sufficient.